Welcome to Rotowire's Fantasy Hockey Quick Hits, where we'll bring you all the latest news from around the league for tonight's games. Uh, unfortunately, we just don't have a ton of news uh, for tonight's two game slate, uh, including goalie confirmations. There have not been any that have come out yet, but we'll run through uh, what we have and, and what the situation looks like right now. So we're expecting Kevin Lakinen to play for the Blackhawks going up against UC Saros and the Predators. Saros has been given uh, really the bulk of the lurk workload over Peke Rene, so there's no reason to expect he won't play tonight. And Lakinen has very clearly been the best goalie for the Blackhawks at this point in the season. Uh, for the other game, Ottawa against Vancouver, Braden Holtby definitely feels like the safest bet there on the year he's outperformed Thatcher Demko, uh, but Demko's most recent game was pretty good, so I suppose there's a chance they could go back to him, but it looks like they've been flipping back and forth pretty evenly on the workload there. The question mark for me is Matt Murray tonight. Uh, very clearly, there's uh, some concern in Ottawa about Marcus Hogberg. We haven't seen him play. We didn't even see him get in a relief appearance when Murray was getting shelled to the tune of seven goals most recently. So I, I think we're going to see Murray tonight, but the fact that he did just get rocked, clearly something's not right. He's given up three or more goals in all of his appearances this season. So uh, for, for my money, I think Murray is a safe bet tonight, but don't be surprised to see Marcus Hogberg start there. The rest of the news for today really affects teams that are playing tomorrow, but we'll run through it anyway here. Pretty minor signing, uh, Penguins signed Yannick Weber. He had been in camp with the Predators this year on a, a professional tryout. They didn't end up signing him. I think the biggest impact here is what it means for Brian Dumoulin. Look, they're already banged up. You saw Ricola, Mike Matheson. Uh, they, they've got a number of guys. Uh, Marcus Pedersen as well are all hurt right now. And Brian Dumoulin picked up an injury last night. So this could really be an indicator that there are some problems on this Penguin blue line right now. Uh, for Columbus, Jack Roslavic is going to play tomorrow. That's locked in and ready to go. He will likely fill in as their third line center. Uh, for now, but I think if he puts together some good performances, he could move up that roster pretty quickly. For Dallas, it's all a bunch of uh, post-skate decisions. I, I won't quite call them game time. They could come out earlier in the day tomorrow, but that's Jamie Benn, Blake Como, and Rupe Hintz. They're all going to be reevaluated after the game day skate tomorrow to see how they're feeling for that game. Cam Talbot is officially out tomorrow. This pretty much confirms we'll see Capo Kakinen in between the, the pipes for them. But uh, certainly they, they could, uh, you know, look at their other options, but I'd be surprised if they did that. Dylan Larkin wasn't able to practice today uh, with an undisclosed injury team, didn't provide a ton of information other than to say he didn't start and he's in doubt for tomorrow's game. And then finally, uh, Tuka Rask uh, appeared to get hurt in the game last night against the Penguins. They didn't provide much of an update. He did stay in the game. Uh, but he's definitely not playing tomorrow. Yaroslav Halak is going to get the start. The question mark is whether or not he even dresses for the game uh, or, or if they have their, their taxi squad goalie up to dress for that one. But they are anticipating he'll be ready to go on Saturday at this point. Uh, and, and according to Bruce Cassidy there, they were going to start Halak anyway. So not a real big change for them. That's been uh, your latest fantasy hockey quick hits.